Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the unit 3 lecture 3. So in the last class we have seen that open ended line. So what is the behavior of the traveling wave when it reaches to the open end? That is at the receiving end we are having the open end. That means open circuit at the receiving end then there is a voltage and current waves which are going to be reached at the open circuited end then if that open open if that voltage wave reaches the open end then it is going to be reflected back with positive sign and there is a current wave which is reflected back with negative sign and the coefficient of reflection is unity that is what we have seen in the last class so if you see the learning objectives of this lecture so first one is to understand the voltage wave on short circuited end of the line when the end of the line that is at the receiving end when the receiving end is going to be short circuited then what is the behavior of the circuit for the voltage wave so that we are going to see in this lecture and the next one is to understand the current wave on the short circuited end of the line so if you see the short circuited line let us consider the long transmission line which is short circuited at the receiving end so which is short circuited at the receiving end means we are connecting that with a wire okay so that is short circuited so when the switch s is closed what happens a voltage and current waves which are going to be having the magnitude of v and i are respectively starts traveling towards the short end that is shorted end shorted end means the end is short circuit that is at the receiving end we are having the short circuited okay so this voltage and current waves are going to be starts traveling towards the receiving end okay so consider the last element because our behavior of the transmission line or tra traveling waves in the traveling waves our behavior is going to be changes at the last element only so i am considering that last element so that is dx the last element is dx that is considered that last element dx of the line the electrostatic energy which is stored in the element dx is given by half c dx v square so as we know that if you are having the long transmission line so that long transmission line is having there is a inductance and capacitance effect so due to that inductance and capacitance effect there is a inductance and capacitance is formed physically they are not going to be exist but for the calculation purpose we are going to assume that there is a inductor and there is a capacitor is going to be forms because of the effect of that we are going to consider those inductor and capacitor effects so here in the last element also that is in the dx also you are going to have the uh, capacitor effect as well as you are having inductor effect so for that capacitor effect the electrostatic energy stored in the element dx is half c dx v square half c v square into dx dx is a small element which we are considering that is multiplied with that okay so the electromagnetic energy is also stored in the element that electromagnetic energy stored in the element is given by half l dx into i square so half l dx into i square is the energy stored in the inductor half l i square so here dx we are multiplying because that small length we are considering so since the voltage at the shorted end is zero we know that for the short circuited at the place of short circuit we are having the large amount of the current and voltage is zero so for that here also the same thing at the shorted end the voltage is zero the electrostatic energy is going to be vanishes that means half c dx v square that is going to be vanishes that is vanishes means the energy neither creates nor destroy but it will transforms from one form of energy to the another form of energy so whatever the energy stored in the capacitor that is electrostatic energy that is going to be transferred to the electromagnetic energy that is in the inductor so that is going to be transformed into electromagnetic energy so here let us consider that the change in the current the change in the current is i then you are going to have the half c dx v square that energy stored in the capacitor is going to be transferred into the energy stored in the inductor so that is 
half L dx I square. So half C dx V square is equal to half C X half L dx I square. Okay. So if I solve those equation, you are going to get V by I whole square is equal to L by C. V by I is equal to under root of L by C. Then V by I is nothing but Z. Z is nothing but the characteristic impedance of the line. Z is nothing but characteristic impedance of the line. That is V is equal to I into Z. I is equal to what from that V by Z. Then that is also called as capital I. Where small i is nothing but the change in the current. That is what we have assumed. But capital I is nothing but the actual current wave, which is reaching at the receiving end. So this means the increase in current is I in amperes. As a result, the total current at the shorted end. As a result, the total current at the shorted end. When the current wave reaches the end, is I, and there is a reflection of that current to the back. That is positive I. That is with positive sign. So actual current wave, incident wave is I, and there is a reflection of current is I. That is positive sign. I plus I. Then your current is going to be two I, two I amperes. So this could be considered due to the reflection of. A current wave of magnitude of I, therefore, short short circuited end the current wave is reflected back with positive sign, and coefficient of reflection is unity. Coefficient of reflection is unity. Okay, since the voltage at the shorted end is zero, we know that the voltage at the short circuit is zero. So, a voltage wave of negative sign, the voltage wave of negative sign that is minus V. Could be considered to have been reflected back into the line. The voltage wave is reflected back with negative sign, and the coefficient of reflection is unity. Coefficient, coefficient of reflection is unity. Okay, that means the current is increases and voltage is going to be zero here. So that is what the short circuit condition. At the short circuit condition, the current is increases, but voltage is zero. So to make the voltage zero, we are having the voltage reflected wave that is with negative sign, but whereas current reflection wave is with positive sign. Okay. So if we see the voltage and currents, voltage and current characteristics of the traveling wave, that is here it is voltage wave. The other one is current wave. So you are having voltage and current waves. So if we see the time by time, that is t is equal to zero plus at the starting. And t is equal to l, and t is equal to l plus like that. As the time increases, as the tra traveling wave travels towards the receiving end, what is the behavior of the voltage and current? So how it is going to be? So that is what we are going to see here. So here, let us consider at t is equal to zero plus instant of time. So just after closing the switch, just after closing the switch means t is equal to zero plus. So at t is equal to zero plus, there is a voltage and current wave starts traveling towards the receiving end. Whether it it may be open end or receive uh, short circuited end, but when you close the switch, there is a two traveling waves are going to be produced. That voltage wave and current waves. So these two voltage and current waves travels towards the receiving end. Then when it is reaches to the receiving end, that is t is equal to length of the line, that is L. When it is reaches to the length of the line, t is equal to L. At that particular amount of time, at the receiving end, you are going to have voltage wave with V and current wave with I. So at t is equal to L plus, that instant at t is equal to L plus means when the voltage and current waves reflected back. So that is the instant at when the voltage and current reflected back. T is equal to L plus. That is starts traveling towards the sending end. Okay. Reflected back and towards receiving end. So here, V is reflected back with negative sign, and the current I, which is reflected back with positive sign. Then you are going to have the current is 2I, and voltage is I. Sorry, voltage is minus V. V and minus V gets becomes V is equal to zero, and there is a current which is travels with positive sign means 2I. So that is 2i. You are going to have at a t is equal to 2l. That means when it is reaches to the back to the sending end. When it is reaches back to the sending end at t is equal to 2l. That is voltage is zero, current is 2l. And then again 2 is equal t is equal to 2l plus 
T is equal to 12 plus means again voltage wave starts traveling towards the towards the receiving end. But a current wave of 3i reflect back. That means starting you are having the current i when it is reflected back with 2i and again starts reflection and which is flowing towards the 3i. So that means 3i is going to be starts moving towards the towards the receiving end from sending end that is t is equal to 2l plus and when it is reaches to the receiving end again t is equal to 3l so at that instant of time t is equal to 3l you are having the voltage wave v and current wave is 3i three times it is increases and after that when it is reflected back again towards the sending end that is t is equal to 3l plus so that t is equal to, uh, t is equal to 3l plus means again it is reflecting back towards the sending in then it is reflected back with negative sign that is voltage is reflected back with negative sign that is minus v and current is reflected back with positive sign that is i so you are going to have the total current is 3i plus i is 4i but here v minus v is 0 so when it is reaches t is equal to 4l means again it is reaching to sending in at that place you are going to have the v is equal to 0 and current is increases that is 4i. So, like that the current is having increased value that is 4i times increases but voltage is 0. So, voltage is 0 but current is increases. So, at the short circuit we know that the current is increases you are going to have the infinite amount of current at the short circuit but voltage is 0. So, at the short circuit we can say that the current is increases like this as it is only reflect back with positive sign only but whereas the voltage wave is reflect back with negative sign in order to make the voltage as zero so current is increases rapidly as the cycle increases until it, the wave is going to be reaches towards the receiving end okay so if you see the summary of this lecture in this we have seen a traveling wave which is moving on the short circuited line that is up to short circuited line it is going to be moves so, the current wave short circuited line, the current wave for short circuited line, a traveling wave is reflected back with positive sign and coefficient of reflection is unity. And next one is a voltage wave. The voltage wave for short circuited line, a traveling wave is reflected back with negative sign and coefficient of reflection is unity. So, that is about the short circuited line which is short circuited at receiving end. Okay. Thank you everyone, thank you for listening this class.